Hey guys, this is Cliff. I just wanted to let you know I got into uh, Mayfield, Kentucky, and I'm um, going just now going down through Main Street of town. And this in is 600 we're feet. This is what we're looking at. This is kind of devastation. Memorials. Um, yeah. Wow. This is what we'll be working with. We got the uh, National Guard out here directing traffic. Um, you have arrived. Yeah, my GPS is telling me I have arrived. Boy, that's an understatement of the day. Look at this, folks. This just makes it all too real. It truly does. I just want to want to show you firsthand what this is this really looks like out here so the death toll is up over a hundred um, this is gonna be a it's gonna be a whole lot of work and I'm just glad I'm here it's raining it's gonna be raining for a few more days the temperature is about 45 degrees which is about 45 degrees less than I'm used to for the last few months but um, I've got to uh, I've got my warm clothes packed and coming up and so everything should be all good I'll show you more in a little bit almost to uh, to our headquarters Hey, good morning, Genesis Project family. I just uh, wanted to say hello this morning. This is December the 20th. Um, it's about uh, 4.30 in the morning. Things are just starting to get going here in Mayfield, Kentucky, which is where I've been de deployed to for Samaritan's Purse. I'm up a little early, um, but uh, look, looking around, so are quite a few other people. We're excited to get back to work. This will be day three for me here on the, on the ground. Um, we're doing tornado disaster relief for Mayfield. Um, just an amazing amount of outpouring of volunteers that have come in here to Samaritan's Purse. On Saturday, we had 266 volunteers show up and get ready to go to work. I am a team lead, which means I run a team of however many people they send my way um, of volunteers to do tree removal, chainsaw work, um, brush and debris clearing. And uh, on, on Saturday, my first day of actually being a team lead, I had 27 amazing individuals that I got to, to lead and show and talk to and train on how to use chainsaws, uh, how to stack brush, um, but this is all kind of surface level stuff. This is all just work stuff. What's most important and what I really want to convey to you is, is the love that we're bringing to these homeowners here in Mayfield. How we're just able to love on them, how we're able to show who Jesus is in our lives. We've got people that come from all over the country. Um, the US, uh, we actually even have a group here with Samaritan's Purse that is from uh, Central America, um, quite a few different countries, Mexico, Guadalajara, um, some of those places, Cuba. Um, I am still the furthest one traveled coming from country of Grenada. Uh, so I still hold that title at this point. But, um, <laughs> I've just been really blessed to be able to utilize the talents that God has given me and that I have learned in, uh, in my life in order to help a homeowner and love on somebody well. And it, it's an outpouring of love into this community and uh, the homeowners here, they see that, they appreciate it. Um, we dedicate a Bible at the time 
that we're finished with every project. So every home that when we finish that project, we all sign and dedicate a Bible, a Billy Graham Bible to our homeowners. And uh, that brings out so much joy, generally a lot of tears. And um, we've had so far over 20 people in Mayfield, Kentucky, just since Tuesday, we've had 20 people give their life to Christ because of what we're doing here and how we're loving on them well. And that's what it's all about. Um, when I pulled into town, you'll see the video, or maybe you've already seen it, um, of the devastation that has gone on here. We're talking about brick buildings, complete, you know, three, four stories tall, reduced to a pile of brick, just a pile of brick. Steel structures, big, nice steel structures, um, pole buildings and everything, completely blown off of their foundations. And it looked like, uh, looked like you'd run them, you know, these, these two-story shop buildings, it looked like you ran them over with a tractor. Um, you couldn't even tell what they were. There is hundred over it's over the death toll is over a hundred now of people that had, that had passed away in the storm um, it's heartbreaking it's heartbreaking <laughs> but I even heard of an Amish um, family where the father the mother and two of the kids um, had passed away I heard this yesterday during church service and uh, you know that, that this is happening. There's a memorial wall down here that is a block long that uh, is full of flowers and pictures and, uh, and love. Um, I'll try to get you all uh, a picture of that. I just want you to really see the impact that, uh, that you're having. Um, those of you that donate to the Genesis Project, um, how we uh, how we spend some of these resources in order to love on others. So that you are all involved in so many lives, and uh, we just really appreciate you. And we just want to say thank you for your continued support. Um, I just can't thank you all enough. So. Um, we're going to get things uh, cracking here again today. I don't know how many people I'm going to have on my team, but uh, Monday's a new day, and uh, we're ready to, to hit the ground rolling. Um, I look forward to uh, sending you another video soon. Thank you for your prayers and your love, and uh, I pray that you all are going to have a Merry Christmas. Enjoy your families. Love each other well. You never know what tomorrow's going to bring. So. God bless you. I love you. I hope to see you all soon.